Wayne Sutherland. I'm a geologist with the Wyoming State Geological Survey. We're standing here at the, uh, at the Sunrise Iron Mine just above Hartville. We're searching for answers. We're just really on the verge of, you know, some pretty significant stuff. Uh, that's great material. Quality of this. That's beautiful stuff. <laughs> You're looking at Clovis coins. These right here are probably 13,000 years old. My name is George Siemens. They're all coming out of a, a mixed context in that they have eroded out of the site and been redeposited down below the site. We've got uh, some of the oldest stuff that, uh, you know, what we find on this continent. Science, you know, you learn in little bits. In order to understand the archaeological deposits, you need to have a little bit of geology to go into it. So we were just doing some prospecting and, and uh, lo and behold we got into this really rich deposit of, of chert and jasper and quartzite. It was the source for some of these materials that they, they're making. Archaeological materials come out of a geologic context. It's important to George because he likes to know the source of the material that the Indians were using, uh, whether it was in Clovis time or more recent times, because this is some of the best chipping material found anywhere. This type of material is quite irregular, very large pieces, apparently weighs over a ton. The matrix with which it is in is not layered, it's all chaotic. That also lends to the idea that maybe it was a mass movement that brought it here. There's a number of faults that cut through here. There's a main fault along the valley. There's another fault up over the hill. There's some chert, agate type material. Some of it is this uh, beautiful pale blue extremely sharp on the edges and this is the type of material uh, that they're finding some of the Clovis points made of. We assume they were after red ochre. There are just all kinds of ritual that went on here that we don't understand at all yet. Red ochre is hematite. Once you put your hands on this stuff it's a very very greasy red iron oxide and it sticks to everything. Uh, so that's why it was probably used for paint, but it's, it's just an iron oxide. I wonder just uh, why we find, uh, you know, red ochre in all these sites. But it's there and it has to do with, just, you know, hocus pocus ritual behavior. And there's a lot of specialists that are pretty much working on this. I find it a fascinating puzzle. Uh, for me, the puzzle is part of geology.